So the other day, a friend of mine made a post celebrating his the fact that he had been paying down and working to pay off his outstanding debt. And I got engaged with another gentleman talking about uh, credit scores and the things that impact them, and I thought I would share that information with you. Uh, each creditor kind of uses their own scoring system, but 90% of lenders use the FICO scores to determine credit worthiness. So uh, there are a couple of other systems out there. FICO scores were developed, I believe, in the late 80s, early 90s. Uh, there's a new system in 2006 that came about called uh, a Vantage score. But regardless, 90% of lenders use your FICO score to determine whether or not they're going to give you credit, how much, and what interest rate they're going to charge you on that credit. So 35% of your credit score is based on your payment history. And that date dates back uh, seven years. So if you made late payments on anything, uh, on any your mortgage, your credit cards, student loans, whatever, it's going to impact your credit score for up to seven years. 30% of your credit score is based on the amount owed versus the amount of credit that you have available to you. This is also known as your, your credit utilization. And it primarily looks at your revolving credit or, or credit card accounts. So those things that you would tend to be able to, to charge and pay down and charge some more. Uh, you want to have a credit utilization score of under 30%. So in other words, you only want to really use 30% or less of the revolving credit that you've got available to you. Ideally, to maximize this portion of the score, you want to have under 10% of your credit being utilized. So another way of looking at that is if you've got a credit card with a credit limit of $2,000, you want to keep your balance on that credit card below $200 to maximize that portion of your score. 15% of your credit score is based on the length of credit. What that means is they take a look at the oldest account that you have and the newest account and then they also take a look at the average of the amount of times that you've had all of your accounts. And that makes up 15% of your credit score, which explains why uh, people just starting out, since they won't have much in the way of a credit score, and won't whatever they do have, in theory, won't have been for very long, uh, that's going to play a major role in impacting your credit score. This is why I encourage people to start early, as soon as you turn 18. Um, start looking into it, start building your credit uh, so that you can get that working for you and have time on your side. Now, 10% of your credit score is based on your credit mix. So they, they take a look at installment loans, mortgages, uh, loans through uh, credit unions, uh, retail credit, things of that nature, you know, sometimes you'll sign on and you'll get uh, 40 days to, or I'm sorry, 40 months to pay off your, your tires that you just purchased. That would be kind of a retail line of credit. Um, anyway, all these things factor into your mix of credit scores, but they only account for 10% of your overall credit score. An ideal mix, just as an FYI, is to have a mortgage an installment loan of some sort, and three credit cards. And that, if you're just trying to maximize that portion of your score, that is the mix that you want to have. And last is new credit inquiries into your credit score. So if you are applying for a credit card per se, uh, they're going to take into account how many applications, how many hard uh, request how many hard inquiries they've received on on your credit. 
And they do this, they look particularly uh, at the last 12 months. However, inquiries will stay on your credit report and be reflected in the score for up to two years. And that only makes up 10%, and they do allow for rate shopping. And by that I mean, for instance, you might shop around uh, to, if you are getting a car loan, which I've kind of advised against, but people still do them. Uh, if you shop around to try and get the best rate on your car loan and apply at your bank and at your credit union and at the dealership and kind of compare all three, they take that into account. It does not hurt your score uh, that that much. There's an allowance built in um, for people looking at their scores and, and trying to just take advantage of the lower interest rate. Now, once you've got all that factored up, they then use that to churn out a number that's reflective of what your overall credit score is. And most people are familiar with this concept. And while there is some variation between the different agencies and uh, institutions out there, they use kind of a similar range. There's some, uh, there's uh, a comparable themed running through the credit scores. So your score range will vary anywhere between 300 and 850. Less than 580, at least with regard to a FICO score, is considered poor. Between 580 to 669 uh, of a FICO score is considered fair. If your FICO score is between 670 and 739, then that is considered good. And that's also an average score, makes sense, um, of, uh, across the country. If your score is in the 740 to 799 range, then that is very good. And to have, to be considered to have exceptional credit, your credit score has to be 800 plus, at least on the FICO scale. And remember, again, 90% of lenders use your FICO score to determine whether or not they're going to extend you a line of credit, how much, and at what rate. Obviously, the higher the score, the lower the risk you present to them. Remember, lenders, banks, credit card companies, they are all gamblers. They're gambling on whether or not you're going to pay back that debt or not. So the higher the score, the lower the risk, the better the interest rate that they're willing to offer you. And I hope that makes some sense to you guys. If you have questions about that or some of the differences between the scores and how they're determined, feel free to hit me with those at fustyandfinance at gmail.com. Hit me here on Xbox or Twitch. You can also leave your comments below my video if you're watching this on YouTube.